Hey guys, it's Nathan. Um, I just wanted to provide a quick tutorial on how to get your main stage output. So say you're using main stage, you have a nice patch with great keyboard tone and you want to record that at, like into your DAW. So how to get the output of main stage and then just plug that into the input of your DAW. Um, so that'll be the first part of the tutorial. Second part is a bit more complicated. We're going to use an aggregate device um, to kind of see if we can get um, if you if you're interested in recording vocals or anything else um, at the same time as you're recording um, your keys or your whatever is going into main stage. Um, so, for example, I want to sing and play piano and get them both recorded into my DAW at the exact same time. Um, the reason why I'm making this tutorial is that um, I was looking online when I was trying to figure this out. Um, the first part, like with just getting your main stage output um, in recorded into your DAW. Um, a lot of the guides online use Soundflower, which is a software that's, it's good, um, but I had a lot of difficulties with the installer and a lot of people also online were finding difficulties with that. Um, so I found another software that worked perfectly so far, low latency, it's pretty much perfect. So um, that was a quick workaround. And as for the other part, like recording a mic or anything else, like. Uh, I'm using a Focusrite Scarlett, so if you're plugging anything else and you also want to record that at the same time, say you're jamming with someone, and you want you just plug it uh, something into your interface and record that at the same time as your main stage. Um, I couldn't find anything online for that, so hope this helps. This is just my method of what to do. So let's dive right in. First of all, let's check if main stage is reading your input. So just checking that main stage is working. So I have my keyboard here. I'm just gonna press some keys. It's plugged into my computer. Um, and let's see if it works. It works. Great, okay. So you can see all the MIDI stuff is working, which is perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, yes, so now that that is working and we know it is working, let us download Black Hole. So I'm gonna put the link to this in the description. Um, what Black Hole is, is just a virtual cable. So it's an audio loopback driver. It takes the output of main stage. So basically imagine it just as a virtual cable. So we're going to plug one end of Black Hole into the output of main stage and we're going to take the other end and plug it into the input of your DAW so that we can record main stage into your DAW. So just imagine that with me. Download the installer. Um, run it and you can download a two channel version, 16 channel version, 64, whatever. Just download the one that suits your needs. If you're just recording like keys, like me, you only need two channels. I have 16 because I, I just want a couple more channels um, just in case um, we're doing something else. But for this example, if you just want keys, just get the two channel version. It should be fine. So once you're done installing that, come over Go to your launch pad and launch audio MIDI setup. And you'll know it, you've downloaded it correctly when you see black hole as one of these options over here, as one of your audio devices. If you see it, good job. Let us move on to the next step. Once you have that done, you might have to close and reopen main stage to allow it to detect that. Um, but let's go to main stage. Let's go to settings and then audio and then set your audio output to black hole. What we're doing here is we're taking the one end of black hole and we're plugging it in to the audio output of main stage. So we're taking the output of main stage and now we have to take the other end, we have to plug it in to our DAW. So let's go to our DAW. For me, it is Reaper. Uh, this can be any DAW, Logic, whatever. Um, and then open up your options, open up your settings, wherever you set your audio device set it to black hole, click apply, whatever. Um, and now when you arm your tracks, so this is my keys, right? I'm arming it. Input one and input two of black hole are your stereo outputs for main stage. So you see there's signal coming through over here. That's, I have a pad running right now. So we know you're good. So if this is all that you needed just to record like keys um, into a DAW, you're done. You're good. Um, yeah, so 
I'm going to move on to the second part of the tutorial, um, which is a bit more complex because I wanted to record vocals as well. And I also want to hear them live throughout uh, through my my personal like studio monitors at the same time. So there is a way to do that. Let's go back to audio MIDI setup. And since you guys see, I have a Scarlett 2i2 Focusrite um, inter audio interface. This can work with any interface. So I have a mic plugged in there. This mic is plugged into there. And I want to record my vocals at the same time as I'm playing keys. So you'll see this and you'll see this. And we're going to create an aggreg aggregate device. So go to the bottom, click that little plus sign, and now click create aggregate device. And this thing will appear. And now you can just click check mark the, the, the audio devices you want to use. So in this case, for me, you, it's definitely black hole for everyone. And then the second one, click your audio interface. For me, it's the Scarlet. So now you've clicked both um, and it's created this audio, this aggregate device. So it's using all the inputs. It's taking all the inputs together um, and it's, it's showing you this little map uh, of what it is. So the blue corresponds to Scarlet and the, the gray corresponds to, or the gray or the black um, corresponds to black hole. So from this little map, we can see that channels one and two of Scarlet 2i2 USB is channel 17 and 18 on this aggregate device. And the outputs for Scarlet 2i2 USB is channel 17 and 18 on the aggregate device. That matters for me because I'm using the output of Scarlet um, Focusrite as my speakers, like my main speakers, um, like my for my studio monitors. And this also matters for me because I'm using, my mic is plugged into input one of Scarlet 2i2 USB. So I need to know 17. Let's go back into our DAW, Reaper. And now we have to change the audio device to aggregate device. Click apply, change it into aggregate device. Now that we've done that, we can arm the tracks and it's a bit different now. When we're arming them, we can see that I can, I now have all these options. This is showing me like this is black hole and this is scarlet. So I have now armed, this is a vocal track, right? Now I can arm this with input one of scarlet 2i2. So this is my microphone. And we can see that the audio is reacting to my voice. So we know that this is correct. Check, check, check. Perfect. Now we can also see that the keys is still input one and input two of black hole. And the way that I can check that is because now you might actually have to do the routing for um, your master as well. If you're doing, um, if you, if your studio monitors are connected to your audio interface, um, I just clicked add a hardware output and then output one and two of Scarlet 2i2 and it works like that. So the way I can monitor it, unmute and you can actually just hear the pad just going crazy, which is great. And now I can just test it. It works great. There's latency because I have a lot of plugins running, but um, yeah, this should help. Perfect. So everything works. Praise God. Um, yeah. If you guys need more help, if there's anything that's confusing or um, just stuff isn't working, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Let me know if this helped you, uh, if stuff like this is helpful um, so that I know if I should be making more of these in the future. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. I, I just hope this is a blessing. So see you guys.